Hello. Now, if you're covering a section on polynomials, chances are you've heard your instructor uh, use a lot of different words to describe these polynomials, and you might be curious as to what these words are. So we're going to go over some of the vocabulary used with polynomials. Now, one of the first things that you want to know about polynomials are what the terms are. Terms are pieces of the polynomial connected by either a plus or a minus. So if we look at my polynomial that I have here, you'll see that it is made up of three pieces. I got a negative 7x, a negative 3x squared, and a plus 2x cubed. Each of these pieces we would consider a term because each piece is connected either using a plus sign or a minus sign. Now another word you might hear is the word coefficient. For every term you might notice a number that is associated with that term. So we would call the number out front the coefficient. And they could even be a little bit more specific. So if they want the coefficient of the x squared term, they'd be talking about, say, this negative 3 here. Now for the rest of the terms associated with a polynomial, it's handy to have the polynomial written in descending order. That means we're going to take our polynomial here and rewrite it so that the term with the highest power is written first. Then we're going to continue writing our terms with the next highest power until we have written all of our terms. So you can see that I have the same polynomial as before. Things have just been rearranged just a little bit. All right. The first thing we want to recognize is the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is the first coefficient we find. So it's the one associated with the highest power. So leading coefficient. All right. Another good thing that we can point out is the degree of the polynomial. This comes from the highest power present. So if I look at all of my powers or exponents, the highest one is this 3 here, which means I could call this one a third degree polynomial. Excellent. Now, you could classify these uh, further if you want. You could call the polynomials, say, constant, linear, quadratic, cubic, or quartic. And that all really depends on the degree of the polynomial. So if you're looking at your degrees, and say it's a zero degree, that means there's actually no x's present. We could call this constant. If it is a first degree, so the highest power is just an x. These are linear. Second degree, we would say is quadratic. And these are probably the most common, but you could even continue on to a third degree and call it cubic. You could go on to a fifth degree and even call it quartic. Uh, usually when we start getting to the much higher degrees, uh, we might just leave them a, as a polynomial rather than give them a specific name. So hopefully you enjoyed learning a little bit about the terms. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.